Hi everyone. So today we'll learn about the how to fetch the data from an API in React. So before going to steps that how to fetch data from an API, I would like to cover that how what is an API and how it's why should we learn it and uh, how it's work. Okay. So API stands for Application Programming Interface. Basically, it enables the exchange of information and functionality between different systems, or you can say between different servers. Now, coming to an example that if I will give a real life example, I think it will help for you to relate that what is an API and what does it work, okay, how it's work. Okay. Now, think you are going to a restaurant. Okay. Now, you are in the restaurant and there is a waiter comes to you and you don't need to go inside to the kitchen to prepare your meal. You just give the instruction that what type of meals you want at your time. So the restaurant's waiter will be take your instruction and go to the kitchen and give this instruction to the chef. And according to your preference, whatever the instruction you have given to the waiter, that will be followed by the chef and that chef will be give you the meal on a table. Sorry, not the waiter, the wait, so not the chef. The chef will give the meal to the waiter and the waiter will take this meal to a table. So here the waiter is the API. You can assume that the data or the instruction which you given to the waiter was given to the kitchen or given to the chef and chef follows the instruction and give and prepare your meal and that meal delivers to your table by the waiter. So waiter is an API here. So I hope I hope that you have visualized that parts API do. Basically API exchange your information or exchange the data between two servers or between two dif different systems or between different websites. Now coming to that, how this, like what is this request? Means what, what is the HTTP request? This API is nothing than a HTTP request. Okay. So when a web browser or a mobile app sends a message to a server, it's known as an HTTP request. And a HTTP request involves asking the server for specific data or you can send an action and getting a response from the server. And the server responds by interacting with the web pages and services. So you can say that in HTTP request, we are like the client is asking for some something and the server's role is here that it will give the response via API. What in means the client give the HTTP request via API to the server and the server process it and give the response via API to the client. So here we say that HTTP request is used or you can say that HTTP request is known as a API call. Okay. So now coming to the types of HTTP requests. Now, what are the types, the various types of HTTP requests? There are four various types of HTTP requests. One is get, another is post, another is put and delete. So these four HTTP request methods are used to exchange or to communicate between client and server. Now coming to the get method, these methods basically retrace data from a specific API or you can say specific endpoints. Example, think like this, you are asking for some information from the server. Now coming to the post method, and this method used to send the data to a specific endpoint. Like for an example, you can send a message or you can submit a button of a message form and the information will be added to the database. That means whatever the data you are writing in the form or your fill up that form, after the submit button, the data will be stored in a database. And this insertion is done in database is comes under post method. Now coming with the put method. This method is used to update a record or a data value at a designated endpoint. Means you are asking to change some data 
in an existing information or you can say in an existing database there is some data and you want to update it in that scenarios the put method works now coming to the delete method this method itself saying to delete something that means to erase some data in a database or you are saying that discarding some unnecessary thing from a database and for this scenario we are using delete methods i hope you have a basic idea about api what is an api what is an http request types of http requests so let's come to the topic how to fetch a data in there so coming to that point we will use a fetch method to fetch a data uh, while i'm saying to fetch data means it's a get method okay so we will use a get method or you can say we will use an endpoint will which will give some data to us and the data will be shown in the ui okay and uh, to complete these steps the first step or the first things we require that we have to we have to know that what is our api endpoint so here i have taken an endpoint i will show you so if you see my browser here this is an api endpoint which will gives you basically some data some json the some json objects array of json objects and it consists of album id id title url and thumbnail url so basically this is a get this is an api uh, this api is a get method api okay and it's fetch the all the album ids and all you can say the photos of the albums with a json object and it's give you the response that these are the album ids let album id 1 2 3 4 5 6 and these are the title id url and thumbnail so basically this is an api which will give you the data of the albums okay so what we will do here now we will use this api okay we will use this api we will fetch the data from this api in react and we will see how after fetching the data from the api how we will render it in our ui okay now for that i will create a component first that is app.js in app.js i will first give a, i will take a variable where this api endpoint will be stored there and after that i will use fetch method and this fetch method will be fetch the data from this api so let's start now you can see i have a component app.js which is a very basic component and it's written welcome to react api tutorial and this is the ui you can see okay so let me take a variable let's say let api okay and here what will store here here will store the endpoint or you can say this is the fine fine this is the api endpoint okay now what we'll do now we will use two effect so whenever my website whenever my website or page will render okay so it will run this fast that what it will run now it will execute this fetch data api function okay for it will pass the api that means whenever my component will be rendered this fetch data api will be executed fast okay now coming to the function fast fetch data api here as we pass the api as an argument we will pass here the argument url so after that we will use the fetch method to fetch the data from an api now this fetch method always return promise what it will return it will return the promise so for that how to write that to fetch the data from the api we will first use fetch method and in there we will pass the api name or you can say the url in the fetch method and it will return a promise so that's why we will write here dot then to handle that promise and uh, it will return the response okay so we'll, what we will do we will return 
response dot json will be done in json format. And after that, this response dot json also return promise. So for that, we will write again dot then. And here we will uh, we have the result, so we can say the result. Now, okay, we can advance it. Okay, so now what we'll do? We'll just print the value console dot log result. Okay, let me elaborate again. So what we have done here? Basically, we first we have taken the endpoint. Okay, first we have uh, like declared the endpoint. This is the endpoint. This is the API name. Okay. So after that, we are declaring a function called fetch.api, which will be rend which will be execute when the website will be rendered. So first it will be execute this fetch.api up by passing the API. And here we pass the URL in this fetch.api. And in fetch method, we are passing the API endpoints. And as it's written a promise, so we have Retain the dot then to handle the promise. So this response we are converting to JSON and also it will be written as a promise. So for that we have written again dot then. Then we have printed in console. Okay. Let me show you the console. So it is a console. Boom. You can see the response here that we have successfully fetched the data from an API. Okay. Now we have printed it in the console.log as i have shown you that there is the album id one album id one and id one there is title there is url there is four or five things in the json object okay now what we'll do we'll use the url okay we'll use the url to render the image render the photos in the ui okay for that what we need to do for that we need to store this response in a variable so for that i will use use that const photos so to store those photos i will take a variable called photo set photos now initially i will give a null array or a okay it will give an empty array not null array it's an empty array and after that whenever i have the data Whenever I have the result, I will set photos with the result. So for this, uh, for this, um, now we have photo, now we have the photos. That means after fetching the data, we have a variable called photos, and these variables store all the photos, or you can say all the array, all the JSON objects in an array in these photos. Then what we'll do? Then we'll just use, then we'll just iterate this array using map method. So in every item, what we'll do? In every item, we'll return an image. Return an image with src is equal to uh, item dot item dot item dot url so and yeah and we will pass the key is item dot id okay so now we will see the magic here Photos, yeah. Now you can see that we have photos of all the albums. You can see. So basically, what we have done here, we have stored the whatever the data we have fetched from the API. So we store that in a variable, okay. And after that, while we're storing, like after storing this variable, while it's rendered the API. Sorry, while it's rendered the UI, it's actually iterated the all the JSON objects and it's written an image 
which the src item dot url that means the url which is present in the json object is written as an image in ui so it will iterate and all the json objects uh, sorry all the images are shown in ui right now so i hope you have understand how to fetch the data and how to store the data in a variable and how to render the data in ui we have learned these three things fetch the data store the data using huge state effect we are uh, fetching the data in using fetch method and uh, this is a very important thing that fetch always returns promises so to handle that we have used dot then and also the last point how we have rendered the data from the use state variable i hope this uh, tutorial uh, will be helpful or you have learned a lot learned things today and thank you